Good afternoon, guys. Just stopped here at Houston Station. Just picking someone up here um, for a rehearsal today. Back to the grind. Um, yeah, it's just for a rehearsal over the next few days for a private gig we have on. Quite hush hush. So um, we just have to get this out of the way today. And I'm just picking him up here. I will be done in about two or three hours. So. But we just need to get it done today, you know. Um, I hate doing it today after Stevens' is, although I'm not like one of these now that will stay up till two or three in the morning drinking on Stevens' night. I just, I just don't really do it to be honest, because usually I have something on. So, uh, but I have to say the last two days have been absolutely lovely. Um, spent with well, the last three days have been brilliant, like starting on Christmas Eve, but. In particular, yesterday and uh, Christmas Day were lovely. Um, I just spent with family, like Jen's family, on, on Christmas Day, as in for the dinner. Uh, my mum's on Christmas morning, and then down to my mum's yesterday, or my, my sister's house yesterday. And um, it was the first time my sister bought the house, the family home, and they reconstructed with her fiancé. And my mum lives at the side of it now. And uh, it was just, it was yeah, it was quite poignant, because it's the first... Christmas in the new setup and it was lovely they ordered food in all the nephews and nieces and stuff like that well the majority of them were there anyway and um, it was just lovely playing games and had a few drinks watched Liverpool win <laughs> and it was great so uh, I don't mind going back to a bit of work today so well again it's only going to be a few hours so but um, I just said I'd get on and have a little ranty roo because uh not because I'm in bad form, actually in great form, to be honest. Um, no more just to do with uh, the, 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 the theme of the next few days, you know. But uh, I'm just, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm completely bamboozled by these twats that get up on a, at like 8 o'clock on a Stevens' morning and go shopping. Now, granted, I got up yesterday and I did 6K, but that's, that's self-preservation. That's fucking exercise. That's good for you. Um, but I, I just can't fathom this thing of kids, unless someone's minding the kids, being dragged around shopping centres on Stevens's Day. Do you know what I mean? Like, just because you're going to get 20 fucking euro off a jumper. Like, have you not bought enough crap coming up to Christmas? Do you know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong. I, I'm guilty of buying stuff at Christmas, but you won't catch me getting up to go into a fucking shop in Stevens this morning for love nor money I couldn't be arsed I found it hard even walking around the shopping centres uh, during December like as in early December to mid-December so I'd say it's fucking madness on Stevens' day I know you wouldn't catch me doing it I just nothing is that important there's no item of clothing or anything is that important to drag yourself or your fucking kids who are tired irritable and couldn't just want to be at home playing with their toys from Santa Claus do you know what I mean and you fucking idiots running around. Sorry guys if I offend anybody that's on my Instagram here, but I just, I can't, I can't fathom it. I just, I find it the most weirdest thing ever. Um, and they do the same for the January sales. Probably on the shit stock that isn't going to sell either. And you think you're getting a big deal. Ah, ah. Anyway, that's one thing. The other thing I want to talk about, and it's 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 it, a it's a thing close to my heart, is this New Year, New Me, absolute bollocks. Like, what is this all about? Like, why can't you start going to a gym mid December? Why can't you start cutting down your food mid December? Because society tells us that we are going to eat like boxes of chocolates fucking you know drink 10 points of guinness have 10 bottles of wine a night you have to eat a full dinner on christmas day or you know every day over christmas that's all pure bollocks pure and utter bollocks you can still make good choices i don't know how many boxes of chocolates are in my house and i think there's been one opened do you know what i mean and it's not because i'm i'm not i i'm just not physically open to myself but like like, what is it that people just think that they have to overload on everything at Christmas? I just can't understand it. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just... Like, granted, we all go a bit mad coming up to the day with clothes and, you know, presents and stuff like that for one day. I can understand that. But this thing of absolutely self-destructing yourself over the Christmas between food, drink, whatever, it, 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 to me, is just... Um, it's a puzzle. 
because they're going, oh yeah, new year, new me, now I'm gonna lose all the way, lose all the way. But like, you're not gonna lose all the way, you will lose weight when you go on the new transformation program you're on or whatever. And what, what six, six weeks say, six to eight weeks transformation, you, yeah, you look great and you'll stick up the new picture. You'll be in slimmer world and everything and you'll be fantastic. And once that all stops, you're gonna put the weight back on. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I would be saying to you, instead of waiting until the new year, just make better choices at Christmas and uh, like start now. Do you know what I mean? Like I got up this morning now and I'm I'm back on, well, not that I was ever off, like I had it on Christmas morning. I think, oh no, Christmas morning I didn't. But like I'm, I'm had me banana and my loaf or the zero fat yogurt and me whey protein and you know, my fucking, you know, big point of water, two points of water. And you know what I mean? It's just like, you don't have to absolutely fucking annihilate yourself. Yes, let go a bit, but a very, uh, I went, I did these two fitness, go I'm not qualified in anything in, in, in that regard, but I do, I have done two fitness courses and listened to what they actually told me about food and, and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And like, I've just adapted it now into my lifestyle. And because of those two fitness courses I did with Jonathan Clark Fitness, I know myself kind of 80, 75 to 80% what there is to know of what not to eat. And if you do overeat, what you should do and stuff like that. Like Jonathan, I have to say one thing with Jonathan, he's amazingly honest in his regard at the saying like, you know, listen, don't kill yourself if you do actually overeat for the two days, but don't think that you have to go and do fucking go on hunger strike and, and you know what I mean? Do a million hours of cardio to try and combat it. Just get back, introduce a healthier lifestyle into your lifestyle, and that's it. Drink loads of water. You just, if you're going to do this plan, yes, do the eight week plan, shed that fat. But this is, this is nothing to do with fat shaming. This is more to do with if someone wants to lose weight. If someone's overweight and they're happy, well then don't change yourself for fucking anybody. If you're overweight and you're healthy and you're happy, don't change yourself because you'll probably end up more anxious and more depressed when you do lose the weight, believe it or not. But it's great for the time being and you lose it and stuff like that, but it's the keeping it off is the problem. So if you're not prepared to actually keep that up on a daily basis, weekly basis, yearly basis, and the reason why I feel so passionate about this is because I am that person. If I didn't look after my food, if I didn't look after exercise, I would be the size of a house. And I will always be struggling with my weight, always will. You know what I mean? But if someone says they say, oh, Jesus, you look great, or, you know, Jesus, you're after losing loads of weight, or blah, blah, blah. Someone said it to me the other day, and I haven't really been trying, to be quite honest with you. I've been exercising, but I'm not killing myself in the gym. I'm just doing, say, three days a week, and, but I'm, I'm keeping just a general healthy lifestyle. I'm eating well. I'm enjoying a few points as well. But other than that, it's, it's, it's just about making choices. So, like, you know, don't have the desserts. Have the starter in the main course. Don't have the dessert or don't have the starter and have the, you know what I mean? Or just don't have either and just have your main course. Like, don't eat until you're actually going to fucking burst at the seams. You know what I mean? That's that's the wrong way to do it. You eat until you're full and that's it. Leave it. Don't be thinking, oh, Jesus, you know, there's still a bit in the plate. That's a waste of food. It's not because you're going to get fucking sick. So I just can't, I can't fathom this. I can't understand this whole aspect of people thinking you know that they have to absolutely kill themselves with food and drink and everything over the Christmas because I'll tell you one thing you do it and you're not planning on shedding the weight that's grand but if you're going to try and lose all that Christmas weight after yeah what the, why would you be putting yourself through that fucking rigorous workout to do that do you know what I mean just do it on a daily way. set yourself I'm going to go walking four days a week. Set yourself, I'm going to start running. Set yourself, I'm going to join the gym. But I'm actually going to keep up the fucking gym. Not not, not like joining it for three months and then done. You know, and all the premier, I'm not knocking transformation. I think tra transformation programs are brilliant. But like, listen to what the people say on them. Don't just do them to, to, to get those little Instagram pics. Listen to what people say on them and actually adapt it then into your lifestyle. You know, I just physically can't understand it like stupidly now I, I went but not stupidly I really enjoyed it but I registered for a 6k yesterday and uh, on Christmas night when I got home and I did it I like I was fucking dying as in dying with my chest infection I just got up and I said you know what fuck it let's do it got up and I'll tell you one thing I felt a million times better and stupidly 
I am I, I, when I got home from the other one yesterday I signed up for a 10k tomorrow now I can't run 10k I don't think I've ever run 10k um, but what I'll do is I'll walk jog and run it you know what I mean I don't give a fuck how long it takes me that's the way it goes so um, look guys have a great few days I just thought I'd get on and have a little ranty roo bit of a relaxed rant today so um, have a good one Talk to you soon. Happy Christmas.